Hello! In this first lesson, we are going to talk about holding the violin. So when you are in resting position, this is the position you would be in if you are not playing your violin at the time. You want to make sure that you are holding on to your instrument by its neck right here. Another way you can hold it while you're sitting or standing is by tucking it gently underneath your arm like so. You just want to make sure that if you do do that, that you're putting your arm away from your fine tuners and your bridge. So you would hang out right around your chin rest area like so. And you always want to make sure that you are keeping your instrument the back part of the instrument up against you. And this part, the front part, is going to be away from you. And the reason behind that is you want to make sure that you don't do anything to tap or hit, especially your bridge, as your bridge is only being held down by the tension on the strings up against the bridge. This is resting position. Playing position, you will take your instrument by the neck and place it underneath your chin and on your left shoulder. So as you can see, the shoulder rest that I'm using, and I do prefer a shoulder rest. It is more comfortable for me. Some people choose not to use a shoulder rest, but this curvature in my shoulder rest rests right on my shoulder like so. So you wanna make sure that you don't have the instrument out too far this way. You wanna make sure the instrument's not way underneath like this, just slightly out to the side, like so. You're gonna place this part of your chin on the chin rest. And you want your instrument to stay level, with your eyes, so if you were to look out, it would be straight across, almost as if it were a table. And as you can see, if I were to have music in front of me, I would be able to see the music, but I can kind of see the instrument from my peripheral vision. Another thing you wanna be careful with is sinking. This can be very common when you get tired, you start to sink into your side. You wanna make sure that you're arm is away from your body. And then when you go to hold the instrument, there's going to be just a little tiny slight curve in your wrist. So if you look at mine, if I were to just relax my wrist, there's a little teeny tiny curve right there. And then my hand, I am making a C with my left hand and I'm flipping it around. Thumb goes right where your first finger would be placed. This part of your finger is going to go closer to the nut so that you can curl it and line it up with your thumb. And this is proper playing position.